The Chinese scientists delete genetic sequence data related to COVID-19 patients. The story dates back to early 2020 when researchers at Wuhan University submitted the findings of a new coronavirus sequencing method to international academic journal SMALL. The related sequences taken from 34 patients were also uploaded to an online database called the Sequence Read Archive, maintained by the U.S. National Institute of Health. The paper was published in June 2020. One year later, American virologist Jess Bloom at the Fred Hongson Cancer Center in Seattle found himself unable to find the data while researching on the virus. The scientist emailed Chinese scientists on June the 6th to ask about the data but didn't get any response. On June 22nd, he posted a report which was covered by multiple media outlets including the New York Times, questioning as why the Chinese scientist had deleted the data. Zheng Yixing, deputy head of China's National Health Commission, cleared up the confusion at a recent press conference on COVID-19 origin tracing. He explained that the editors at Small deleted the paragraph that said the sequence data was in the sequence read archive. Without the paragraph, no one would know where to find the sequence. On June the 9th, Chinese researchers received the edited draft paper from Small and found the paragraph that had been deleted. They thought the sequences were no longer useful and not necessary to be archived in the U.S. databases. They emailed NIH to retreat the data, and NIH obliged. Zheng also said the sequence had been uploaded to a new GMO sequencing archive at China's National Center for Bioinformation, which is open to public globally already. In addition, he also said the earliest sequence among them dates back to January 30th, a substantial time after outbreak. So the sequences are not the earliest samples which have limited value to origins tracing work. The journal Small also confirmed the claim. According to New York Times, editor said, the data availability statement was mistakenly deleted. We will issue a correction very shortly, which we will clarify the error and include a link to the dispository where the data is now hosted. The journal posted a formal correction on July 29th.